We have learned tonight that former cycling champion Lance Armstrong is in discussions to return a part of the millions of dollars that his team received from the U.S. Postal Service. And he has indicated a willingness to testify against others involved in illegal doping. Armstrong's U.S. Postal sponsorship prohibited doping. Last year, Armstrong was stripped of his titles after an investigation found systematic drug use on the team. Today, the Associated Press reported that Armstrong apologized to the staff of his Livestrong Cancer Charity before heading into an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Recently, we spoke to Travis Tigart, the head of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, in his only interview for the Showtime program, 60 Minute Sports. It was Tigart who made the case against Armstrong. Some of the words that you used in outlining your case were drug possession, trafficking, cover-up, conspiracy. You described Lance Armstrong as, quote, the enforcer, end quote. Pretty tough stuff. It's serious business. The evidence was serious. Why'd you use those words? What led you to describe it in that way? It, it reads like a mafia conspiracy. Scott, we heard the evidence. We heard the stories from the athletes. And it supported, without question, every allegation that we put in that letter that obviously now has been shown to be true. And so when Lance Armstrong essentially threw in the towel after all of this, you were surprised, not surprised? Not surprised. Uh, again, we were disappointed he didn't come in and be part of the solution. It's one of the lowest days of this investigation, quite honestly. But we knew when he rejected that opportunity for redemption and to be part of the solution at that time that this was his only option to avoid all this evidence from ever coming through an open court. If you had an opportunity to have that meeting with Lance Armstrong, you could say one thing to him. What would it be? It's never too late to tell the truth and, and make it right. Armstrong is being sued by a former teammate for allegedly defrauding the federal government. We're now told that senior officials at the U.S. Department of Justice have recommended that the government join that suit against Armstrong. Oprah Winfrey's first stop after her interview with Armstrong will be on CBS this morning. Tomorrow morning, she will appear live with Charlie Rose, Nora O'Donnell, and Gail King. That's CBS this morning, tomorrow morning.